Hey guys, Dusty here. Today I'm at my local running store, Couch and Valley Running, here on Vancouver Island. And I just wanted to do a brief overview of most of On Running's 2022 lineup. And just as a little refresher on what makes On Running unique, uh, first of all, they're a Swiss company and all their shoes have a pretty unique look. So their cushioning system is what they call these cloud pods. And essentially each of them compress individually. And then in every on running shoe, they have what they call a speed board. Essentially it's a full length plastic plate. And typically you can see it through the midsole. There's usually a channel carved out and that's gonna help promote a smoother gait cycle by loading up and helping propel you forward. And in some models, it does add some decent stability as well. And one thing on does really well is they make very comfortable uppers. Um, I believe all of their models have built in sock liners. So totally seamless, very comfy on foot feeling. So today I'm going to go through 10 of their models and we'll get started with the cloud. So really lightweight, comfy shoe comes standard with these elastic laces. And this shoe is certainly more geared towards being a lifestyle or casual shoe. Um, I have a pair, I've never ran in them. I've rocked them for two years as just lifestyle shoe. Really comfy, you could do some really light running in it, but uh, basically every other shoe that I'm gonna show you is going to be more geared towards running than the Cloud. Uh, the Cloud usually comes in lots of fun colors and is also available in a waterproof option. Next up we have the Cloud X. Now this is actually the only shoe that I'm showing you today that I haven't owned myself. So the Cloud X, you can think of this more as a cross training shoe. So if you're doing weightlifting, gym work, um, with light running, then this is gonna be the option for you. Next up, we have one of my favorites, the Cloud Flow. I believe this is version three. So lightweight, daily trainer, um, probably best suited kinda at that half marathon distance and under. The previous versions of this shoe were my shoe of the year in previous years, and I still really love the Cloud Flow. It's definitely a little bit more performance based. The Cloud Flow would probably be one of the better options for myself if I had to pick a race day shoe that wasn't carbon plated. It's a very comfy shoe. I find it feels really nice when you pick up the pace, good for workout day. Um, Cloud Flow, uh, also now available in a wide width. All right, now we have a brand new shoe to on running, the Cloud Runner. I'm actually rocking a pair today as well. Uh, I picked up a pair, however, I've transitioned them more from a running shoe into a casual shoe. This shoe is probably, again, best suited kind of at that half marathon and under. Uh, it's a little bit on the firm side. It does have a very wide base though. That inherently gives it a little bit more stability. And this is a shoe I'd probably recommend to a new runner. Very comfy on foot. Going to be able to get you through a wide variety of runs. Um, and another thing I should mention is that in years past, on running has had a problem of uh, getting rocks stuck in between these cloud pods. And I have to say a lot of their new models like the Cloud Runner are getting a lot better at keeping rocks out of the midsole. So in previous years for on running road shoes, I'd recommend that you only use them on the road because you don't want to pick up sticks or rocks or pine cones. But now because the design is getting better, I think you would be okay doing some hard pack trails in a lot of their road shoes now. As far as fit goes, Cloud Runner fits a little bit wider and is also available in a wide width. So definitely one of their wider fitting shoes. I just like how they look so much. I've been rocking them as a lifestyle shoe. Now we have the Cloud Swift, uh, very durable shoe in my opinion. Um, this new version, it fits a little bit narrower than the first version, which was wide and accommodating. I don't know why they really narrowed it up so much. Uh, definitely one of On's firmer rides. If you're looking for a really soft, cushiony ride, there's probably some better options out there for you. And the Cloud Swift in particular has a pretty unique feel. It has kind of a, a rocker geometry to it, and it, it kind of feels like it's rolling or pushing you forward when you run in it. So again, another daily trainer, probably best suited kind of at that half marathon and under. And I think out of most of on running shoes, you'll probably be able to get mo some of the most miles out of this shoe. All right, now we have a couple of really nice long run shoes. We have the Cloud Stratus uh, version two. So a really big upgrade on the previous version. The Cloud Stratus has kind of a double layer of cloud pods throughout the entire midsole. Very roomy in the toe box. Uh, a little bit on the firm side, but not harsh feeling. And this was one of my go-to long run shoes while I was prepping for the Vancouver Marathon earlier this year. I find it can handle a wide range of paces. You can go long, slow, and easy. 
Um, you can also pick up the pace a little bit in this shoe. Now let's talk about uh, maybe even a, an upgrade from this shoe. This is another brand new shoe to On Running and it's certainly my new favorite for the brand. This is the Cloud Monster. So this shoe is easily the softest feeling, most cushioned On Running shoe and they do that by having these very huge cloud pods. And I've yet to do my full review on this shoe, but I've put, I think, almost a couple hundred miles on my pair, and it's awesome. I use it for easy recovery runs, uh, long runs. It's my number one go-to now. The upper might not feel as comfortable as some of the other models, but overall, it's still a very comfortable upper. And again, like the Cloud Swift, this has a rocker feel to it, um, so really nice fun ride. Really easy to keep the legs ticking over when I'm running in the Cloud Monster. And now we have the Cloud Boom Echo. This is On's answer to the other carbon plated shoes out there on the market. So this shoe has a carbon infused speed board. It's still not as stiff as some of the other carbon plated shoes out there on the market, but it is very comfy. Uh, in my opinion, you could easily go up to a marathon in the shoe. Very lightweight uppers, very thin light laces. I wish they had made the laces a little bit thicker, honestly. Overall, very nice shoe. Priced way too high, in my opinion. Um, and I hope in future models they can fix this channel in the middle. I've found a tendency to get rocks stuck in the bottom. And that's the absolute last thing I want to be dealing with on race day is having to pull over and try to pick a rock out of the outsole. But ultimately, if you're looking for an on-running shoe that is the fastest, this one is head and shoulders above the rest. Okay, now we're gonna talk about three trail options from On Running. We'll get started with their latest shoe, the Cloud Vista. So the Cloud Vista is what is known as a door to trail shoe. So the outsole on the shoe isn't particularly aggressive. And one of the benefits to that is you can leave your front door, run some pavement to get to the trails, then run some, uh, in this shoe you'd want more hard pack trails, not wet sloppy trails, just because the outsole won't really dig into that sort of terrain. And that's exactly how I've been using the shoe, a mix of pavement and trails. It feels pretty lightweight, nimble. Um, I love the colorway. Unfortunately, it's a trail shoe, so it won't remain white for very long. But ultimately, it's one of On's more versatile shoes, and I really like my pair. All right, now we have the Cloud Ultra, very similar to the Cloud Vista in that it's a door to trail, but the Cloud Ultra is way more performance inspired. So it's the Cloud Ultra, meaning ultra racing, so really long distances. It's a really nice ride. It's a little bit firmer, but it feels really nice on trails. It feels nice on pavement as well. The lockdown is a little bit better in this shoe than the Cloud Vista. You're getting a little bit more stack height, more cushion. So typically when I have a run that has a mix of pavement and trails, and I wanna go a little bit faster or go longer, I'll choose the Cloud Ultra. And then when it's shorter and easier, that's when I usually go with the Cloud Vista. All right, lastly, we have the Cloud Venture. I believe this is the version three as well. So the Cloud Venture is certainly more of a true trail shoe, um, very aggressive outsole. It's going to be better on those wet, sloppy trails. Just the worse the conditions, the better the shoe is gonna do for you. And this shoe in particular does come in a waterproof option. And I know at this store specifically, it's one of their better sellers come fall when it's starting to get really rainy here on Vancouver Island and people still like getting out for hikes. Uh, they typically pick this up in a waterproof option. All right, and that's my quick overview of On Running for 2022. I did leave out a few models, but this for the most part is what this store carries and what I have access to. If you have any questions about any of these shoes, let me know down below and I'll get back to you. Uh, with the exception of the Cloud X, I've put hundreds of miles on basically every pair that I showed you today. So I hope you liked my review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.